know if they filmed a movie or what. That's right, baby. We like having a car show, I don't know. Let's go see what this is all about. Welcome back, back to the best Volkswagen content you guys have ever seen. I uh, got my daughter last night from the airport, as you saw. Went and had a burger at Bob's Big Boy, kind of cool. Uh, I think they were having a car show. You've seen all the cars that were there. So today, we're out here to continue on on the bug. Um, got a million things going right now, as far as I got all the rest of the tins back. Um, I'm gonna paint the two that go over the cylinders on the top. I'm not gonna touch the ones that go on the bottom. Uh, right now I'm gonna address this intake manifold. So when I took this apart, there was a tube sticking out and there was a piece of a uh, hose with a screw in it. That didn't go to anything when I took it apart. So called my stepdad. He says, go ahead and plug it. So I'm gonna get you set up on a camera. I'm gonna drill this thing out. I'm gonna put an eighth inch pipe tap so it can be tapped. And if anybody wanted to change it later, they could screw a, uh, a barb into it and do their thing. Sorry for the background noise. Letting my generators do their thing. I probably haven't ran them things in over a year. So I'm gonna let them get hot and run and all that good stuff, but let's get cranking on this intake manifold. So our final bit for an eighth inch pipe cap is gonna be 2164. I'm going to step up to that. So I put some paint on the tins that my stepdad already painted. I've already set them on the engine. I'm gonna put the screws in them, the four screws that go into the heads. I changed the gaskets out on the oil cooler and I'm pretty close to being able to set the doghouse down on here. So those threw a quick coat of paint so that they match the doghouse. And then I'll get the four screws in here and then we should be able to set the doghouse on this deal. Now let's go grab the doghouse. run up to AutoZone and go grab some more VHT. <sighs> There's uh, the two little intake manifolds that go down here. I ran out of the silver steel it on the intake manifold, so I'm gonna go get some more black paint so I can finish out those two little elbows. <laughs> I goofed up. Intake manifolds gotta go in there first before the doghouse, so.
Okay. Uh, I went to AutoZone, got some paint, came back, and just kind of went crazy without getting everything on film. You already see me drop the doghouse on. You already see me put those tins on. I got the belt on. Really nominal things. My concern is I tried to put some of the tins on underneath, and these J-tubes may or may not be in the way. So I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to pull this engine off. And as sketchy as it is, I might have to set this engine on like one of these stools that I have. That way I can work on the outsides of the engine and have the engine sit on the stool. But that's going to do it for tonight. It's Saturday night. I got to get up and go to work in the morning. Got one intake manifold painted. The thing in it that we drilled and tapped. Uh, the other one has its final coat on it and I'm waiting for it to dry. So I'm pretty much at a standstill for this evening. It's cold. I want to go inside and spend the rest of the evening with my family. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later in the week. And we'll figure out what the next step is. I'm probably going to have to cover this entire engine in like a blanket or something when I put it up in here. The problem with painting these tins versus powder coating them is I feel like the paint chips off really easy as soon as they rub anything. So, um, yeah, that's my concern. But once I get the intake manifolds on this engine, I guess I could probably just put the engine in and then address the tins underneath. I may do that too. Rather than putting it on a, a stool, I could see this thing falling off and getting hurt. But uh, we're pretty much close to getting this thing back in. I, like I said, I got to pull this thing off and we got to put the flywheel on and the clutch on. All that stuff's here. All of it's ready to go. Just need to actually do it. So I'll catch up with you guys later in, uh, in the week and uh, have a good evening. January 9th, it is pouring like a zone. I don't know. California needs this water and it is coming down. It is flooded everywhere. Kind of was going to come mess with the bug tonight, but all this rain and this and that, I think I'm just going to call it an evening and screw with it. Listen to that. Dang. Try and screw with it uh, on Wednesday. I got Wednesday off. Get the engine back in on Wednesday. We got a lot of standing water out here. We are flooding. Flooding. My poor birds. Check on my birds. Man, we're flooding good. A lot of water going. What's going on, everybody? Today's the day. Today is the day that the engine is going back into the bug. I took the exhaust off, got the tins on that go underneath the engine in here. It's a better look like that. I'm going to get the other side on, the other J-tube, if that's whatever these things are called. I'm going to get that other one put on here and get it ran up front. And then I'm going to do the intakes and then we'll pull this thing off the stand.
All right, since I'm too cheap to go buy like a motorcycle jack and I don't really have a dolly, I took some scrap metal that I had and I made something for my jack. So the engine can sit on this now. Um, I just took that bolt out that holds the round pad on. It'll swivel. Should make it a lot easier for me to set the engine on there and get it up in the car when I'm ready to do that. It's 2.30, I gotta go pick up my daughter. We'll come back. We got this bad boy back on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and get the flywheel on it. The new flywheel, new gland nut. We'll get that buzzed on there. And uh, then we'll put the tins that go on the back. We'll get all those tightened down and on and be ready to put this thing in. All right, I think we're ready to attempt to get this thing in there. Um, I've cleaned everything up underneath the bug. I'm just gonna wheel the engine over there underneath it and then we'll lower it down and we'll start working with it.
crankshaft a little turn. Phone's going dead. I put it on the charger, lay down here, grab these bumper things, push my feet back and forth, and I get it to go in and get it to capture. Nice. I think the input shaft maybe wasn't lining up. I tried to turn the crankshaft, but I did get it. Hard to see. It's a it's a mess down in here. But I think some of this, or a lot of it's this rear main. We got it. I got that one up there already in. I gotta get these nuts on. These nuts. So in the process of doing this, I've bent this uh, tin. I'm gonna have to bend that back down, it's bent. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse and start getting everything bolted up on this thing. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, they shut the power off to do maintenance. And I knew it was coming at eight, but I thought I was a little bit ahead of them. Anyways, uh, it's Wednesday. I gotta work tomorrow on Thursday, but tomorrow evening I'll come out here and tinker with this thing and uh, perhaps we'll get it going. All right, you guys, it is Saturday the 14th in the evening. I got off work, worked a little overtime, got off work. I'm out here late. And I messed up. The other night when the power went out, uh, I started cleaning some stuff up so that when I came back out the next time, it would be clean. And when I was doing that, I came across this. This is the Glan Nut washer. It's like a wave looking washer. And it's designed to not only hold that big gland nut from coming out. But the way the Volkswagen works is that flywheel goes on to some dowels and this washer catches those dowels so that the fly flywheel doesn't come off. So the engine's gotta come back out of the bug. The flywheel's gotta come off. I've gotta pull that gland nut out put that washer on, put some Loctite back on the new gland nut that we have, and put this whole thing back in. Um, I'm glad I caught it now, versus when my parents would be going down the freeway and the dang fly will come off or something. And you'll have to forgive me. I, I literally, the last time I worked on a Volkswagen, I was probably 17 or 18 years old. Um, so I just spaced it out, but uh, because this is a boring process and you've already seen all the other stuff, it's going to be a quick time lapse. I'm going to pull the tin off, pull the exhaust off, uh, get the jack underneath it, try and get the engine dropped down, 
Um, I'm gonna try to do everything on the jack and that little thing that I built and then get it back up in there. did my best obviously I had to take this thing back out um, I, I tried to put a little spray wax you can see where my hand greasy hands have touched it so I may have to do something else to get that stuff off but that's what she looks like when it's in there obviously it looks a lot better than it did when it came here I would highly suggest if you're ever doing a Volkswagen and you're screwing with these tins get them powder coated um, if you screw with them a little bit and, and they're painted they get scratched powder coat them um, but that'll do it for this video guys we'll catch you in the next one